In this video, we're gonna make a website in less than 15 minutes, empowering Framer's new features like Wireframer, Workshop, and Vectorset. And if you don't know what is Wireframer, it's an AI feature that lets you make stunning and fast wireframes. Also, Workshop is another AI feature that lets you create interactive components without doing any code or code overrides. Last but not least, Vectorset lets you animate your shapes and icons inside Framer. Let's see what we have. Alright guys, here we are in a empty canvas and actually uh, Framer released a feature called Wireframer which you can build a let's say high fidelity wireframe on the on your Framer canvas in, in just a few minutes like it's very fast and actually this is super cool and uh, it gives you let's say much more faster workflow and it gives you all the reasoning and recommendations and, and all of those logical stuff recommendations and everything and, and I saw that how powerful it is and actually you can access it by hitting this insert button and going with wireframer I've uh, write it down my prompt before and I said that design a landing page for a learning platform with a nice hero section with images and text and, and ratings and get started button and please add testimonial section and five card to showcase features and also uh, need a tom timeline at the middle of the website and it would be perfect if add an about section or some sort of team members and a nice footer so let's just hit enter and see what it come up with all right you can see that it it adds all of those you know breakpoints and it's perfectly adding those sections and ooh, that's cool like it's good for for starting out like if you if you're about to make some simple stuff I remember I had a client that she was not happy to pay much for for designers so this is a perfect tool for her actually and she can use it like it perfectly it perfectly gives her some kind of good results so she can start with I mean, you can start with if you want something simple, if you're a client, if you're a, let's say, if you're a designer designing some kind of simple stuff, this is a perfect tool to just kickstart. Or if you want to just build an MVP or uh, let's say some um, about us page and some kind of, you know, pages like that. So, uh, and even we can say that like, change the design I'm not sure I want to go with this one and let's see what it gives us actually it might be cool to see if it changed oh yeah wow this is super cool like it's changing all of the items and wow perfect Ooh, you can just basically go ahead and uh, basically write a prompt to change a specific section for example let's say uh, I want the hero to be a little bit spice up like I want to spice up the hero section a little bit so let's see what it come up with and ooh, it just changed the text. So we have to be a little bit more detailed. Like I wanted to place an image. So it's cool to say that, like directly say that. All right, uh, I want the hero to have a full width, width, yeah, full width image. All right, let's hit enter and let's see what it come up with. Ooh, yeah, nice. You can see that it perfectly 
adds all of those uh, details that I that I basically wrote down. You can see that the timeline is at the middle of the page, found it at 2020, and you can see that all of those, uh, what's it called? Wow, I, 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 even even it added some you know kind of signature that you can just basically go ahead and. Uh, give it a some kind of effects with the new effect uh, property that is built for strokes so and that's super cool actually so let's just basically speed up the process and I want to add all of those images and tweak the style a little bit so we have the perfect Right now I'm done. Actually, I've made some corrections and, and added some photos and you know some kind of gradients at the bottom of these, which have, which we have those titles and you know, and I added this uh, logo that was actually cool that he named my platform to Skillify, and I bring that logo as a watermark to. Uh, to my basically hero image and all of the items are good like we don't have to change them too much I just changed a little bit of those spacings and actually that's good for now like if you have some kind of you know private classes or if you're a private mentor you can definitely use something like this with you maybe need it a little bit to spice it up but it's good like you don't need too much fancy things and, and you know this is good for now and that was actually good like the experience was neat I like it I, I, I would like to use it more and more to see if it's you know it definitely it definitely gets better uh, by the time so and for now this is super good I love it alright guys now we have everything ready I just added some colors and this section I added this section is not one of the wireframer sections and what we need to do is actually I need a countdown timer component and hopefully we can build it with a workshop and it's actually uh, one of the AI features of Framer that it's been lately released. And you can make interactive components or, you know, some of the things that you were not able to do without code overrides. And now you can make it with Framer Workshop AI. And it's basically you can click here and then click on this workshop menu and you can see that all of those pre-made commands and you can select them or whatever so I'm gonna say that make a count down component with customizable font sizes and the cool thing is actually you can now upload images to your what's it called to your workshop and last night they released this feature so i'm going to upload this image i want the countdown to be like this so let's just hit enter and see what it comes up with wow this is exactly like the same uh image that i sent to the workshop so uh, perfect we have this beautiful countdown so let's just basically copy and paste it to our template I want to place it right below this UI UX course starting and perfect let's just uh, select the wrapper and as you can see perfect actually it added the, the exact background so I'm just going to make it white I don't need the background so let's just basically give it a fill with and perfect okay 
Now let's just basically uh, tweak some of the uh, target dates. For example, uh, let's say the date should be, hmm, let's say 18 June. And we can, we can hide the days or show them. It's pretty obvious. Like you can uh, tweak all of those properties like you can hide the hours minutes seconds and you can basically uh, tweak the color of the text let's say for example we want this orange perfect and the font is basically here you can just change the font size let's say I want a 40 pixel let's just basically write 40 and yep, I want a 40 pixel size for all of those uh, numbers and the line height needs to be a little bit like 1.5. All right. And perfect, like you can see that uh, we can change the font. So it doesn't matter. Let's, let's go with enter and perfect. Okay. All right. And what we need to do is actually I need to bring back this fixed width and I need to basically put it here. So let's just basically uh, select the wrapper and let's give it a start alignment. So you can perfectly see when it's starting. All right, let's just basically uh, run the template. I want to see that. Is it working? Perfect. Yeah, 14 hours. 19 second and 30 or 20 <laughs> or 12 actually uh, seconds so we hide the date we hide the day and that's why it's not showing like let's say oh yeah let's add the day and you can see that once we run it again you can see that it says 12 days 14 hours, 18 minutes, and 40 seconds. Perfect. Obviously, you can tweak more, like you can basically go ahead and make it nicer. But for now, let's just uh, leave it as it is. And the next feature that we want to talk about is vector set. Let's see what do we have. All right, guys, we have vector set inside Framer. You can now edit or animate your icons directly inside Framer. You don't need to go to Figma or Illustrator or something like that. And the important thing is actually you can create a vector set of your icon or your shape layer and animate it with the brand new um, what's it called with the brand new effect property this stroke one you can add this to your signature for example and you can customize the easing perfect and 2.4 and once we go back to the home page you can see that let me just run the template all right you can see that if we reload it again it's gonna be perfectly animated all right and the new uh, property panel for icons and shape layers are unlocked. Like you can just basically go ahead and, and tweak your color of those I color of your icons. And it, it wasn't possible like before, like we didn't have such a thing inside Framer. And from now on, you can add properties, variables to your icon and you can customize them like you can just basically go through the, your layer and customize the uh what's it called the path and and something like that and you can just animate it or do whatever you want with those icons and shape layers and yep that's it for vector set like you can just basically grab all of your icons and put it directly inside framer and it's going to be a vector set automatically go ahead right now and animate something with this brand new feature that's it guys hope you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe to the channel see you next time peace